Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Infinite balance, in effect, giving you that energy, 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 energy from the cosmos to your center flows. And up here again in the beautiful city of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm out from what, what I call Area 1111, and now, as you see, Lakeshore of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, what they call Lake Ontario. Now, what we're talking about right now is something that's going to be very controversial, and I, I know there's going to be a lot of feedback and a lot of pushback, but in my spiritual journey, I'm just sharing what I truly, truly believe in my heart. And it has to do with like domestic violence. And let me say up front, we don't believe in none of that. We believe in a relationship. If, if, a, if a couple is a true couple, they should not have no type of physical violence whatsoever. In fact, in my opinion, they should have no really violent discussion whatsoever if it's really true if it's really true for them to be a true couple a true what they call twin flame by the so-called definition or soulmate you know and if they do have the violence and all that it's more of a couple that don't really are not supposed to be together or it's a situation where it's a lesson that they need to have learned. Now, what I'm gonna do dwell more into now is the way how this matrix system sets up and have a, like an unwritten rule. And this unwritten rule is how a man should never put their hands on a woman. And again, I gotta say this up front. I agree with that. But I also think in my personal opinion, a woman should never put their hand on a man. You think it can't go just one way, it has to go another way. I personally think that them saying that a woman more or less can go about slapping a man or throwing things on a man cut up a man is okay and I know it's from this matrix or what they call Babylon when it shows video footage of like a woman birating a man a slap a man up a, or a punch him, punch him I know it's that the, the media them or outside think it's funny think it's cute and more or less, the man that's getting slapped up is like weak. In a situation where a man can't do, as I say, damn if you do, damn if you don't. If a man retaliates, the man's a social pariah. And if he don't retaliate, he's what they call weak, a wussy. Some, something like that. He personally believe that a man should not put his hand on a woman under any circumstance and a woman should not put her hand on a man under any circumstance when it comes like to the relationship if they're in a relationship whatsoever. I'm putting out, I'm making that specific because outside of that, I don't, I don't know if it's like a, a situation when there's a crime or something like that. I'm not gonna dwell into that, but true, like in a relationship. And going further into that, If a man puts his hand on a woman, we feel like a woman has every right to defend herself and she can defend herself. I know say they say I know gene genetically man stronger. But don't don't mean that a woman can't hurt a man. And in that situation if a woman she, like could defend herself, she has every right to do whatever it is she needs to do to defend herself. And I also believe vice versa. If a woman, 
I know this is going to be get pushed back, but if a woman was to attack a man, get same relationship, same whatever. Melissa, a man has every right to defend himself in any means necessary to get out of the situation, even if it means violence upon himself. Now, I know that's controversial in this in in my spiritual journey. I know personally me. Monago, like in a relationship again, I believe in a relationship. If it's a true relationship, there shouldn't be no type of verbal violence, no type of physical violence. Belief like the couple them should live bliss, bliss, and bliss. But this is what I noticed in the matrix, which it don't make sense to me. You know? Where a man becomes a social pariah then a woman that hits a man when a man's not hitting a woman whatsoever she, um, that woman becomes like liberated where things like that should not go on so you know it's something that I was just thinking in my mind going back to the whole P. Diddy situation which was in my opinion no matter what situation it was in as the kids them said no cool not cool but I also remember and I'm sure people watching this remember years back it was a video with Jay-Z and um, Beyonce's sister I'm sure you can look up the video right now on YouTube or wherever but uh, I forget what her name I think it's Solange Solange or something and Solange she is attacking Jay-Z attacking her and even through all that and people are watching that laughing, thinking it's all cute. And thinking that Jay-Z not retaliating is like he's a weak man, you know? And I find it interesting how one video is egregious and another video, which is basically the same thing, is all cute and laughy laughy. So what I'm saying is, is like, if anyone's watching this and they're like just in a relationship where it's just toxic and and you can get out of the relationship, get out. Because you don't want that stress upon you. Because stress causes dis-ease and dis-ease causes disease. And in the high end of that, a lot of people end up pushing up daisies if you, if you can't read between the lines. So, it was just something that just coming to my head, just literally just now, and I just wanted to put that out. And again, me, in any circumstance, me, me I go walk away. But I don't know if I, there's never ever, ever been a situation where I was, I was cornered or something like that. I me, mean, I see, never know if we are like, would defend myself in whatever sort of way but you know I'm not going to physically harm no woman no woman no worse that putting all your energy into some type of physical violence on another woman or just upon anyone in general you know and I would think the same thing will go for a woman attacking a man I don't care what circumstances if, if a man a cheat if a woman a cheat I mean, nothing, anything like that deserves like violence and stabbing and murder, she wrote. So anyways, everybody listening, I know this is kind of like a dark something, but it's just something that I need to just express from my chest. But anyways, another beautiful day in the beautiful city of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Everything crisp, everything bliss. Like I said in other videos, it's the month of festivals and festivals are going, are going, are going up in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And seeing people them smile no matter what fest it is. And it's always nice to see other people them smile. So everybody from the north, south, east, west, in the Caribbean, the tropics up north, you love the core, you love the core. Everybody staying blessed, blessed, and more blessed.